Today we're going to talk about a number that every kidney patient knows all too well, creatinine. Everyone wants a lower creatinine number, and I get it. I want it too as a kidney doctor, but let's be clear. There is no miracle drug, no magic smoothie, no secret diet hack that's going to fix your kidneys overnight and lower your creatinine. And that creatinine number, it's actually not as simple as it sounds. So sure, when the creatinine goes down, that can mean kidney function is getting better, but not always. Sometimes that number drops for reasons that don't actually reflect kidney health at all. That's why as a kidney doctor, I focus on the long game, preserving kidney function over time. Stable kidneys are good kidneys. So today, let's talk about three ways your creatinine level can go down without your kidney function actually getting better, and why chasing that number isn't the same as protecting your health and protecting your kidneys. Let's clear up the confusion. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm the cooking doc. Everything we talk about here today is just information. This is not medical advice, so don't take it that way. Now like and subscribe, drop a comment, and share it with somebody who needs to know this information about their kidney health. So first, let's talk about what creatinine actually is. Creatinine is a waste product that comes from the normal wear and tear and breakdown of your muscles. So it starts in the muscles, goes into the blood, and then our kidneys filter it out. So when your kidneys aren't working as well as they should be, that creatinine level goes up. It's not being filtered out. Doctors, like me, we use creatinine to help estimate your kidney function. It then goes into an equation that determines your EGFR, or estimated glomerular filtration rate. And your EGFR, it tells you what stage of kidney disease that you have. But that creatinine, it's only one piece of the complicated kidney puzzle. And sometimes, it gives us a misleading picture. But before we get into that, here are three things that won't lower your creatinine. Kidney cleanse pills, kidney detoxes, kidney healthy teas. So let's get into it. Remember, I'm not suggesting that you do any of these things, and in fact, I'm suggesting that you don't follow any internet doctor's advice. That's what your doctor is for. So here are three things that will actually lower your creatinine, but may not actually benefit your kidney health. Number one, drinking extra water before a blood test. Now this will probably lower your creatinine level on that lab result, along with lowering some of the other levels that are checked on that same day. Why? Because you're actually like diluting your blood. Think of it as like adding water to juice. We're adding water to blood. The creatinine is still there, there's just more fluid, so the concentration looks lower. But does that mean your kidneys are working better? Nope, nada, absolutely not. If we check your labs a few hours later, again, after you peed that water out, the creatinine will bounce right back up. I don't recommend people do this as a way to alter the labs. This is kind of what we call a spurious result, a false sense of improvement. It's like cheating on your test by looking over your classmate's shoulder. You might get a better grade, but you didn't actually learn the material. I've never cheated in my life. Number two, stopping certain medications. Some drugs can raise your creatinine even though they're helping your kidneys in the long run. I know that sounds so confusing, right? The medications that we doctors use to keep kidneys stable in the long run may actually make the kidneys look worse in the short run. Don't ask. Just trust me on this one. I have nine years of medical education and 16 years of practice. Not that expertise and knowledge count for anything anymore, but trust me on this one. So let me give you some examples of medications that actually can do this. ACE inhibitors, things like lisinopril, angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, like losartan, or candesartan, or erbosartan, or valsartan, SGLT2 inhibitors, like Jardiance or Farziga. All of those medications can do that. These medications may raise your creatinine when you start them, but that doesn't mean they're hurting your kidneys. And in fact, there's great evidence that for some people, they get significant benefit from these medications because they protect the kidneys and protect the kidney function over time. So if you stop these medications, sure, your creatinine may go down, but you may actually be hurting your kidneys in the long run. Talk to your healthcare provider before making any changes in your medication regimen. Do not stop any of these medications based on this video. I can't believe I have to say that, obviously. And number three, losing muscle mass. As we talked about earlier, creatinine is a byproduct of muscle. So say you go on a strict vegan diet or lose a significant amount of muscle mass, especially if you're not exercising or you're sick. Your body just makes less creatinine. So the lab number, then, it looks better. But again, that doesn't mean your kidneys are working better. 
It just means there's less creatinine for the kidneys to filter out. Now, a plant-based diet can be great for your kidneys, and I'm a big fan, but in this case, we're not talking about health gains that come from good weight loss or a better diet. We're just talking about lower lab values because of loss of muscle mass. It's confusing and complicated. So let's recap. These three things can lower your creatinine number. Drinking extra water before your labs, stopping certain medications, losing a lot of muscle mass. But none of these changes necessarily mean that your kidney function has improved. That's why as doctors, we look at the whole picture, your creatinine trends, your EGFR trends, your urine studies, your symptoms, your overall health, your heart health, all of it together, not just a single lab value. That only tells me a tiny piece of the puzzle. Now, if you wanna find out about things that will actually protect your kidneys in the long run and help you lower your risk of kidney failure in the future, check out some of my older videos. And I'm also gonna focus my couple videos in the future on this exact topic. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip or a new video and comment below. Have you ever had a creatinine number that surprised you or have you ever wondered how that creatinine goes up and down and what makes it go that way? I want to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman, a board certified kidney doctor and the cooking doc. Make sure you check out my website, cookingdoc.com. Check out my book, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, A Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease. And I will see you next time. Thank you.